I am deliciously vicious Vern by Callow, and I am. This is episode one. This is episode one of. Uh, I plan on many of the deliciously vicious food review. So, let me introduce myself first. Like I said, I am deliciously vicious Vern by Callow. I am from Detroit, Michigan. I currently reside in the New England area, and I've been a professional wrestler for the past eight years. But I want to do something different. I want to do something fun. I want to do something that people can kind of get into. Um, I love food. I feel like I'm a foodie. Whenever I, I travel to go to wrestling shows, there are always certain spots that I like to hit up and uh, certain food that I like to get. Uh, so the, the first thing that I want to do in the first episode I want to talk about right now is food that gives you a good memory. Because I feel, uh, especially with like taste and smell and even hearing things, it triggers stuff in your brain and gives you that fantastic memory. And right now, uh, I'm starting out with BK. I'm starting out with Burger King. And for me, whenever I think of Burger King, as odd as that sounds, I think of my grandmother. Uh, she was my best friend. Uh, she was like my number one supporter in wrestling. And when I first moved here from Michigan, uh, every Saturday night, her and I, we go to Burger King and we would just tear it up. She was amazing. Uh, but unfortunately, she passed away. And this uh, Sunday or this weekend is uh, the anniversary that we've lost her. But no tears, only celebrations. Uh, so, in memory of her and this, I got what she ordered, and that was a Whopper. But not on top of that, on top of that, I got an Impossible Whopper. Because, uh, one's vegetarian, one's real. Let's get this shindig started. Let's rock and roll. Oh, and also, for her, I got some good old, good old onion rings. These are delicious. I remember I would get fries, she would get onion rings. Mmm! They're just so savory and crunchy. And the breading is amazing. I know you had, oh, two, two for one. I know you probably had them, but look at those bad boys. Look at that. But we need to get to the coup de gras. We need to get to. The Impossible Whopper. And then we got to get to the Normal Whopper. So, the Impossible Sesame Seed Bun. Bountiful amounts of mayonnaise, some ketchup, pickles, and some juicy, juicy, delicious, yummy extravagant tomatoes sliced onions and a quarter pound plant-based patty that has the flame grilled deliciousness that the normal whopper has and on this side we got the the OG the original the, oh, they gave me cheese. They surprised me and they knew I wanted cheese. So they gave me a Whopper with cheese. Same ingredients. Mayonnaise, lettuce, ketchup, onions, pickles, tomatoes, and that flame grilled delicious pate. Now I did a little bit of investigation and I found out that the original Whopper came out in 1957, which is a very good year. And it was also 37 cents. Imagine that. Now it's like five dot what, 519, something like that. 37 cents, 2020, five, over five dollars. The Impossible Whopper debuted in 2019. And that was I think it started out at uh, four dollars. I think it's still four. It might be five dollars right now. I wasn't too sure. I'm sorry for not doing enough homework. What I do know, what I do know though, though is the protein in the normal Whopper, the OG, 
the protein is 28 grams. Surprisingly, the protein in the plant-based Impossible Whopper is 25, so they're not that far off. But you know what? Enough about the nutritional facts, because we know it's, it's junk food. Today's my cheat day, so I can do this. But let's rock and roll. Ready? The normal Whopper. Let's sink our teeth into something delicious. Mmm! You know, I cannot be that mad that I just took a big bite <clears throat> and a pickle came out. I love pickles. And then if you look, there's another little pickle hanging on for dear life. You're gone, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We got a little tomato that's trying to escape. Not today. Bye-bye, like in sync. Bye, bye, bye. My uh, my go-to diet coke, no ice. Wash that bad boy down. Wash that bad Larry down. Now, let's try this. Let's let's try the Impossible Whopper. So it's, again, plant-based, vegetarian. So, is there really a difference? Shockingly, to me, this tastes more flame grilled than the actual Whopper. Crazy, but good. I even like the bites. I don't know if you can see that. The light might be a little too much, but even the... the innards of the beef look beef are uh, the plant-based patty look legit like a real beef patty look good so i don't know i don't know if you guys want to see me eat the whole thing if you guys just want me to like take bites and like say oh i like this and don't like this oh i like this and i don't like this i do want i do want some more onion rings Oh my god, look at that. That's like, it's an onion ring through an onion ring. It's an onion link. Mmm. Deliciously vicious. I'm sorry that I'm eating with food in my mouth, but I get this excited about food. Crushed. So, fun fact. The Impossible Whopper vegetarian because it has the mayonnaise but if you want it vegan and i know this because the woman of my life my main squeeze my boo bella is vegan so if you want the impossible whopper 100 percent vegan you have to say no mayonnaise and kind of more or less say like hey i want it vegan which it's kind of unfortunate what they do is they put the patty in the microwave. Excuse me. Oof. Onion rings coming back up. Just as good the second time around. They put the patty in the microwave and cook it. So it's kind of soggy and it really doesn't have that flame broiled, flame broiled taste. So kind of, uh, I didn't get it because I feel that would completely sway everything. And no offense to the vegans, but I feel it'd be like really dry. Ah. Uh, I gotta go with the traditional Whopper just because I didn't ask for it, but they put cheese on it. And uh, I love me some cheese. I am a cheesy boy. And uh, I have to say out of the two, I love them both. I'll eat them both. But the original Whopper is the one who that's getting stamped on the first episode of the deliciously vicious food review, the Whopper 100% beef is deliciously vicious. So thank you. Uh, like I said, I want to try to make this a weekly thing. I want this to like 
just pop off and I want to have fun doing it. So if you've made it this far and you've watched, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I have in the comments below or below, I'm going to put uh, all my social media handles. Uh, if I have a Beetlejuice, Vern Vicala t-shirt and other t-shirts on my Pro Wrestling Tees store. So if you can check it out, it'd be amazing. I just want to apologize on my first video. It cut out because I went too long on my phone. This is what I get. But I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is something that I definitely want to try out. This is something that I definitely want to do. And uh, next week I will do better. I promise. So have a wonderful weekend. Take care. And stay deliciously vicious and too late to quit.